Musa, you graduated from LSU. Who's your commencement speaker? Mm. Sweet. Paul, you graduated from Southeastern. Who was your commencement speaker? I have no idea. Awesome. Why, why would you feel if uh, for your class day, a Marshawn Lynch was your speaker? Yep. Paul? Sign me up. Love it. Well, the uh, little snowflakes over there at Princeton don't seem too pumped about this. He, uh, Several Princeton students have written an op-ed to the student newspaper criticizing the decision to make Lynch their senior class day speaker in June. Now, mind you that Lynch is not even the commencement speaker. This is just an event before graduation organized by Princeton senior class that focuses on honorary class members, and Lynch is set to address them. I what, This is part of what they wrote. Among the articles that praised his NFL career and philanthropic contributions, we came across articles discussing Lynch's reticence with the media and his terse responses at press conferences. They cite uh, when Lynch was was a fine multiple times for refusing to speak to the media. Uh, quote, with no other frame of reference, such reports caused confusion over the set of criteria that led to his nomination. Shut up, you wimpy little nerds. Like, we get it. You won the genetic lottery. You're, you're smarter than everybody else, okay? You got to go to Princeton and graduate. How about before you spend the rest of your life listening to nothing but CEOs and CFOs and CMOs and UFOs? How about you actually go hear from someone that's interesting? Do you realize, as much as it pains me to say this, this is a guy who took a beast quake carry in a playoff game and as he is leaping into the end zone, holds out the ball and grabs his crotch on national TV basically to spite the square football world. Are you kidding me? This is a guy who, while he was at Cal, by the way, he went to Cal Berkeley, pretty good academic school, took a medical cart on a joyride around the stadium, and then later, his alma mater turned it into a damn bobblehead. This is a guy who arrived at the Seahawks training facility in an SUV that when they opened the door, literally millions of Skittles dumped out all over the ground. You want to talk about marketing and branding? Marshawn Lynch sure nailed that one. How about a few years back when Marshawn Lynch went to Egypt, a place many of you little Princeton grads might want to go someday, and he was ghost riding a camel in Egypt. That's pretty cultured, right, to go overseas and ride a camel. How about when he randomly popped up a few weeks ago in an HBO video, a trailer promoing the series Westworld? He's pretty diverse. He's an actor on an HBO series. What about Super Bowl Media Day when he told Deion Sanders, I'm just about that action, boss. How in the world could any dopey kid at Princeton not be down with listening to Marshawn Lynch say whatever the hell he might say over the course of a 10 or 15 minute speech. Why would you complain about that? You got your whole life to be a boring nerd. Have a little fun for once in your life, Princeton. Hey, Princeton, kick rocks. Shut up. Can we get Marshawn? I wish Marshawn Lynch would have been my commencement speaker. Princeton, kick rocks, Princeton.